So I already had this. I had already recorded this video. But the audio is bad. So this is a video on quit the scrub mentality. It's not doing you any favors. You're not going to, like, put bad juju on the players you're playing against by being a jerk. So just, it's, it's not, it's not good for you. It's not good for the community. It's not good for any of it. But I'll save that till we actually load into the game so that I can play. Got my cup of coffee. Got some water. Got my mouse and my keyboard and my headset. I'm gonna play some Destiny. I'm gonna be using a sidearm and a sniper. I can't snipe, but Control. I like sidearms. So this sidearm is actually very good. This is the Igma straw that I'll be using while I'm playing this. Rangefinder on a sidearm. Nice. Uh. I don't have any notes, so it's going to be kind of off-topic for a discussion video. I don't normally do these. Normally it's just gameplay and reviews. But what is... We're going to start off with what is a scrub mentality. A scrub mentality... I'll give you a second. A scrub mentality is I am owed the win. Wow. Oh, let's go. Oh, wow. My bullets started ghosting. But Rangefinder really helps. Like, it's actually a noticeable difference. I am owed the win, and I just didn't win because they're using a cheesy gun. Or because the way that they're playing is cheesy. Or their guns are just better. Like, it's never your fault. Or they're cheating. They're cheating is a big one. Like, it's never your fault, it's always the opponent's fault, when in reality they just outplayed you and you are not entitled to win. Sidearm is very good. So that is what a scrub mentality is, is it's always the opponent's fault and never your fault and you should win every time, just because you think you're better. But in reality, in Destiny 2, are there some de cheesy things that definitely make winning easier oh yeah you betcha yeah yeah you betcha you betcha yeah yeah there are some cheesy things that just make winning so much easier like lord of wolves right now lord of wolves actually is not as strong as it used to be believe it or not it used to be a whole lot stronger but you used to equip that and shotgun people from 20 meters easily with lord of wolves and get so much ammo just because you could have double scavenger so you just have all the ammo. Get those zones back. Sorry, had to. Uh, the wrench driver last season broken, like absolutely broken. It doesn't matter what you shot people with with high cows. I ran high cows the entire season. It did nothing. Like, uh, Boreal's right now. Thoriel's one shot by shining people with the sniper. What's another one? Oh, Mountaintop, Recluse, Not Forgotten, uh, Revoker and Trials when it first came out. Yeah. Yeah. Destiny 2. Cheesy game, believe it or not. It has a lot of cheesy, broken stuff. But it's also a game with so much variety that you can't really get mad for a for one of the outliers just because there's so much for Bungie to balance and actually it's really balanced all things considering like how many weapons and weapon types there are Two for one. <clears throat> and and believe it or not this is about to blow your mind some players are just better than you some players will literally are just better than you zone advantage is yours and it's just that simple. Like, you don't, you aren't gonna win every time. You don't deserve to win every time. Players are better than you. You are not, you are not the, the Destiny 2 Messiah. You are not Cami Cakes, Ceridius, Potato, Onyx, or any of like the top, the top Destiny on. players. Patty Cakes, Brave X Hero. ZK Mushroom, I Frostbolt. You are not the Destiny 2 Messiah, and you are not a top player. You do not deserve the win. 
and people are going to be better than you. You are not the top 1% who just wins every time no matter what. But what happens when you start feeling entitled to the win is when you actually start playing worse. Wow, well, I'm impressed that I hit that shot actually. Two, you start getting toxic and start complaining about little things in the game. Like, like you're pointing at the at this at the twig that's in somebody else's eye rather than the branch that's in yours. <laughs> and so you start getting toxic, so you start teabagging. Which inevitably doesn't really do anything to the player, especially if you're like me. If anything, the player's just going to do it back and you're just going to get even more frustrated. Or you write a complaint letter to Bungie. Which they're probably not even going to read. You can post about it on Reddit. You can Only say that they're hacking and report them. You could... You could send them hate mail. So, like, you could do all this stuff to try to make this person feel bad about what they're using. But in reality, most players don't care. Like, cussing at your screen and calling them slurs or, and all of that jazz does not make them feel any... Does not change the fact that you lost. It does not make them feel... Actually, it might make them feel bad. So overall, having the scrub mentality and feeling entitled to the win just makes the community worse, makes the game worse. And it's not helping you improve as a player. Like there's one player that I play with, I won't name names, but every time he gets killed, one his internet is bad, so he does, like, this is just in regular 6v6. But every time he gets killed, he says they empties out a whole magazine of, like, some SMG. Uh, like, two whole magazines into their head. Which already doesn't make sense, because you only, I believe, need, like, ten headshots with a multi mock to kill at its optimal TTK. Even then, its body shot TTK is insane. And he just complains, and he's just like, what? They didn't die? And then we'll just like, like, loot, go ape about how he should have killed them and how they're wrong and how they're cheating and how it's his internet. Which, his internet is sometimes a valid excuse because you will see him teleporting around the map. But they're not cheating. He's just worse. This guy mainly plays strikes. I'm impressed with this. Mainly plays like nightfalls and stuff very rarely ventures into the crucible playlist and just complains and that doesn't do any favors for him or for the people that he's playing against because it's making the game worse oh wow I did not see the blade Roger before like it just doesn't make sense at least not to me so why why do players have this scrub mentality? It's personally, I think it's because they've gotten so comfortable and think that they're so good that very, like when somebody's doing better than them, it kind of sets them off. Like when that one guy with Lamonarch is just constantly killing them. To be honest, I think Lamonarch's broken. Am I the only one who thinks the Monarch's broken? I cannot deal with bows for some reason. And it sets me off. Like, it sets me off. Because I hate bows. And I hate playing against bows. So, like, even I fall victim to the scrub mentality. But, the best way to counteract it is to identify when you're falling into the scrub mentality. <laughs> and to remind yourself, hey, he's just playing the game in the way that he feels most effective. Sure, he's L'Oreal body shining with a... High impact sniper rifle. But hey, if that's the way they like to play, and that's the way they feel is the most comfortable and the most powerful, and it's his power fantasy of destiny, then let him have his fun. Like, I'm not saying that it's okay to one shot by a shot with a sniper. Like, that's actually kind of. It's cheesy, right? But at the end of the day, the person that you're playing against is a human. And conscientiously chose to 
make this build so that he could play Destiny how he wants to play. And who are you to get mad at the screen and start bagging and start emoting and start and start acting like a complete and utter work of of douche canary to to try to ruin his fun. Like it's not fair to the person that you're playing against. And it's just not not helpful. Remain. Finish them. I've had some ace nights. He did not die. Wow. That was surprising. So just Try to catch yourself when you're starting to fall into that scrub mentality and that complacency. And get humble. You are not the Destiny 2 Messiah. And you probably will never be. You are not the best player in the game. You fight like a demon for So quit acting like you're entitled to the win. But I hope you enjoyed the the topic of conversation slash rant. Ooh, 29 kills with the sidearm and the sniper. I'm feeling pretty good about it. 1.8 KD. That's about average. But Hope you enjoy the rant slash convert not conversation topic of discussion. See ya.